So these are your standard black, uh, so Drosophila hydei from the spider shop. So these arrived with me uh, Friday, right? And they were one of the best quality fruit flies I've ever had. Now you leave now to leave them until so don't start feeding off your flies because you see a few you know there's a, there's a few in there ready but you don't want that you want them to start producing maggots you see and you want all this to mix up got some all the maggots mixing it up and you can see some pupa there already now these are good so I'm keeping these at uh, well sanded spider room temperature you know this is about uh, 24 degrees 20 23 uh, at its lowest and um, these will start producing within a week few and then as soon as you see the second bloom you can just start to use them as normal but what I tend to do is I um, tend to buy these as they are you can keep these as they are because they're perfect you know uh, and you just pull this off and tip them out but what I do is I um, culture so I split these then up into other cultures. Uh, it just makes sense when you get blooms, you get too many to feed the frogs, so make new cultures, new cultures, new cultures. Um, each one will last you about two to three weeks. Uh, make sure then that you're tossing these at around three to four weeks, or if you see mites, uh, because these things are stinking, you know. They smell, they smell like a brewery, so of yeast. And um, once you see them going bad, uh, you just need to toss them. But what I tend to do as well, right, is I keep these pots and I literally just wash them out. And then those pots then have got the hole already drilled out for, I turn them into these. So um, these are post uh, they are spiderling tubs. So tr I try my best, my very, very best to um, recycle anything I can. But yeah, top notch and I've tried a fair few out, I've got to be honest. Um, but these so far are the best. So as I was saying, what I tend to do, I use this, I buy this in bulk, right? This is the Advanced Husbandry Drosophila mix, and it's, uh, it's ready for you. This is a 1.8 kilo bag, but I've used, you know, half of it. I use, then take these, uh, these are 32 ounce cups, and they've got the, uh, the fabric felt tops. And behind me and you can't see it anyway it doesn't matter let's put this in so I've got a little measure right away and there's a gift it's actually a shot glass but it's perfect for the actual measure I found just put a tiny it's about 50 50 50 not 50 grams Thirty grams in each of these. So I put because if, if you are having the sixteen ounce cups, you put thirty grams in, and you just double it up for um, the thirty twos. So I put two of these in. Yeah, that's enough. And then you want to mix this up until it's like the consistency of paste. to use um, my spray bottle just reason being is that the spray bottle is um, rectus safe water you know I, uh, I treat the water so it, uh, it can go with the frogs and it can go anywhere and all the spiders so it's like a multi-purpose like 
goes like bread almost, like dough. A bit dry, tiny bit more water. Now keep mixing until you get your right consistency. And the consistency you're looking for is like, uh, well it's paste, like, but you don't want it too wet, you don't want it too dry. Dryer is probably better than too wet because you get mould quickly. And I'm going to make it a little bit wetter than normal just because the flies have got a couple of days before they're ready to uh, to go in it. So and that's one. Then what you do, I bought this online from eBay, super cheap. This is Excelsior wood, wood shavings basically. And they, you use this in like the hobby industry for like hampers and stuff. But you want to get it uh, nice and uh, spread out, make it into a ball. But look, you're just raising the uh, surface area in there for the flies. And you pop it in like that and lid on no. some of these are there are lid. <laughs> let's try the other one yeah so lid on and then what i do is um because there are flies in the room there always will be when you've got a um a large spider collection uh you know uh forehead flies and they can actually lay the lay through so I just pop another one on top and you can't do it. So then those will go on the, on the shelf. Once there's flies in there, you put about 30, 40, 50 flies, depending on how fast you want them to uh, to make your cultures. If you want them to really explode, then you put like 100 flies in. And um, you leave it for a week. And within about a week, at these temperatures, you've got another pot of uh, flightless fruit flies.